Hello YouTubers! My buddy Barry needs a anvil stand for a 150 pound arm and hammer anvil. We measured the base of it and I, this is the proper size. Let me find a tape measure. I believe it needed to be 10 inches wide. Yep and 11 and a quarter long. The anvil will sit in there and the horn will come out this way and the heel I guess would go that way. I got it all welded together. I'll show you the type of joint I used. That's the type of joint I cut in here. And then I have a large uh, framing square uh, C-clamp down to the corner of my little welding table and that's how I squared it up against that to weld it together. Now I'm going to flip it over and I've cut four legs and I've set this square, uh, protractor square or whatever you call it, on 20 degrees. Basically It's going to put this leg on this side of the corner, this corner here, this edge will be against that corner, and then kind of centered up on there. I, I want the leg, I cut the legs on a 15 degree angle, and I want the leg, instead of being way out like this, I want it to be more forward, and a 45 would be pretty good, but I thought this 20, let's see, how would I say this? A 20 degree angle, put the corner of this there, and then kind of the other side on this corner, put the foot out more underneath the horn and the heel, and I don't think I have to worry too much about it tipping over, but I'm still out past the side of this, or the, where the anvil's going to be setting. What I'm going to do is set this on here. How did I have it? I know I had it on here somehow, like that. Had it on there, and then I put a little seat clamp on here to get it adjusted right where I want it. I think I told you wrong when I was telling you how I was going to do it. Let me get it adjusted, then I'll give you a close-up of it. Okay, right here's how I got it. <clears throat> the corner where this comes in and comes over here is right there. So the, the corner of this tubing is going to be there and flush out here on this corner. What I'm going to do is set it up and get it set right where I want it and just tack it right there with a welder. Do all four and that way I can tweak them around just a little bit to get them all square and even. And then I'm going to weld a piece of one inch or half inch round stock. I don't think you can see that. Then after I get this tacked right on here where I want it, and all of them in the right spot, I'm going to weld a piece of uh, half inch round, tack it on here, here, and go all the way around and just give a little more support down here lower on the, the, sh the stand. It'll probably be maybe a third or half of the way down. Let me get these tacked on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there it is. It's just tacked together right now. 
the anvil will sit up here with the horn and the, the heel. I put these half inch rods in here all the way around to kind of help s steady it. I'm going to burn some little feet for it to go on the bottom of the tubing. But I surprised myself because there's absolutely no rock on these four feet. And it's sitting on my steel welding table. It just doesn't, it's solid as can be. Now, can I weld it up and not screw it up? That's the question. I like the, uh, the way it's sitting right now. Let's see if I can maintain. I think you can see it. There's a bit of a gap right in here. And I don't want my weld to go down and make a bump that we have to grind on the other side. So I'm going to get a couple C-clamps and clamp this piece of brass on there to keep that weld from glooping down. Put a clamp here, then I'll go get another clamp and put it over here. I think that might be good. I'm going to weld that now. See what it looks like when I'm done. Well, they both fit. That one right there is 150 pounds. And that one there is like 250. And I got lucky. If you sight across the top of the plate there, you will see that they are both ended up the same height. That's what we wanted.